Hi, this is Dave Dirks, co-author of the book, The New Marketing Analytics. In this segment, I want to spend a little time talking to you about what, believe it or not, are the limitations of data analytics and marketing analytics. You know, as a person who uses uh, data analytics and marketing analytics in his uh, professional life, it may seem kind of odd for me to say this, but I'm going to say it as it is. Uh, data analytics and marketing analytics and analytics by itself are not an end-all uh, and, and not a magic potion to solve every problem. And I know that there's been a lot of written about that uh, that might make it seem like uh, data analytics and big data is uh, going to solve every problem in the world. Um, I do not believe uh, that data alone by itself isolated is a, re a complete replacement for uh, experience, insight, and intuition. I think that what data analytics and marketing analytics do is that it enhances our ability to see. It gives us an opportunity to look at our, to take what we've learned over time and to be able to dissect it and to be, under, and to be able to understand it better because we have access to, to more data. But it's not an end all and it do, it's not going to solve every problem um, in, in terms of, uh, you know, just everyday business life. Um, I think it's important to take a look at this. I, I learned this uh, lesson uh, probably the hard way many years ago uh, when I was uh, working for a company that was trying to find people who, and it had a service, a product, a product basically, a financial product that was designed for people who wanted to become homeowners. And it was a fairly unique product. And so, um, you know, we did a lot of different types of marketing. We did direct response TV, we did print, uh, we did web, and uh, and so we did a, an array of things. But one somebody one day woke up and said, you know, uh, we should be targeting renters. And so, of course, uh, you know, that was kind of sort of the knee-jerk reaction in those days. You know, let's buy a renters list and, you know, let's look at uh, the demographics and, you know, we'll look at uh, our best customers and where they're at and we'll look at, we'll try to find renters that look as close as possible to the people that, buy our financial products and become homeowners. Well, I can tell you a lot of money was um, invested and probably and wasted in terms of trying to find uh, the trigger points. And we tested, you know, different copy and different, um, and, you know, uh, different offers. So we had a lot of A-B testing going on and as, as you do in traditional marketing. But here's what I learned. I learned that at the end of the day, um, we were not successful primarily because we could not, no matter what data we had, we could not determine the emotional point when a person or a couple or whatever, a, a prospect, decided to go from, truly, from renter to become a homeowner. You know, home ownership is a major decision. It's one of the biggest decisions we make next to, you know, family and uh, spouse selection and, uh, and career selection. Buying a house is a huge deal. And uh, what, we, what we did not understand is that no amount of data at that time could give us an indication of when any particular prospect, no matter how close they looked to our, our best customer set, we were not able to uh, to uh, predict when that time, when that direct mail piece, or when that offer, whether it was electronic uh, or otherwise, reached that person. We had no guarantee that they were emotionally ready to make the decision to buy a home. So, data is great. We obviously wrote a book on it. We wrote a book called The New Marketing Analytics. But I want to tell you that um, marketing analytics or any analytics. Uh, should be meshed with the experience and the intuition uh, and the insights that you have as a marketer. And uh, I think, don't think that there's any simple way around that. So that's my thought uh, for today. Um, take a look at uh, our offering through our book, and uh, we hope uh, this was helpful. Thank you, and have a great day.